Hey, what's up, everybody? Got a complimentary quad coming your way, man. Uh, this complimentary quad, it's featuring the music of Warren Zevon. Warren Zevon, so uh, we're gonna start off with Splendid Isolation, followed by Lawyers, Guns, and Money, followed by Play It All Night Long, and then finally, Werewolves in London. Uh, so before I get uh, started with this man, I just want to give a shout out and a thanks very much to Charles Hope. Charles, thank you, man. I appreciate you sending me the links and uh, the recommendation. Uh, this is the very first, uh, or maybe it's the second Warren Zevon. I think Warren Zevon was actually a part of a quad in the past, um, a couple of months back. So, uh, yeah, I think, but yeah, I think it was just one song in the quad. It was a various artist mix. So, yeah, man, definitely uh, could do uh, with a little bit more of this gem. But let's uh, get started, man. Let's check out Splendid Isolation. <clears throat> Hope y'all are having a good one. Staying out of that crazy ass heat. All right, man. Warren Zevon. Splendid isolation. Let's get it. This next song, uh, Neil was kind enough to sing this next song with me on, on uh, some album of mine, one album or another. Great, Neil Young. Compliments another great artist, you know, when they hang out, they overlap, they influence each other. It's all part of that Renaissance period. I want to live all alone in the desert. I want to be like Georgia O'Keeffe. I want to live on the Upper East Side and never go down in the street. Splendid isolation I don't need no one Splendid isolation Michael Jackson in Disneyland Don't have to share it with nobody else Lock the gates, Goofy, take my hand And lead me through the world of self Splendid isolation I don't need no one Splendid isolation don't wanna wake up with no one beside me Don't wanna take up with nobody new Don't want nobody coming by but I'll call them first Don't want nothing to do with you Isolation 
nation Splendid isolation I don't need no one Splendid isolation dark to dream I don't want to see their faces I don't want to hear them scream splendid isolation I don't need no one splendid isolation Splendid isolation I don't need no one Splendid isolation two great artists performing together. That was great, man. Splendid isolation. That part with uh, Michael Jackson in uh, Disneyland not sharing it with anyone. Only Goofy by his side. <laughs> that cracked me up. Hey man, that was excellent. Splendid isolation. Featuring Neil Young. Right on, man. All right, so. Um, what I'm going to do here, man, is uh, just do a little intro of Warren Zevon. I'm sure that some of us um, are not very, very familiar of him, with him. We've probably uh, maybe heard of Werewolves of London, and that's probably about it. So let's introduce the man first a little bit and then we'll get to Splendid Isolation. So, man, uh, Warren Zevon. Warren William Zevon. Born January 24th, 47, to September 7th, 2003. Was an American rock singer, songwriter, and musician. Zevon's most famous compositions include Werewolves of London, Lawyers, Guns and Money, and Roland the Headless Thompson Gunner, all of which are featured on his third album, Excitable Boy, uh, in 78, whose title track is also well known. He also wrote major hits that were recorded by other artists, including Poor Poor Pitiful Me, Accidentally Like a Martyr, Mohammed's Radio, Carmelita, and Hasten Down the Wind. Along with his own work, he recorded or performed occasional covers, including Alan Toussaint's A Certain Girl, Bob Dylan's Knockin' on Heaven's Door, Leonard Cohen's First We Take Manhattan, Steve Winwood's Back in the High Life Again, and Prince's Raspberry Beret. You can cover a serious range there, boy. Zevon's early music industry successes were found as a uh, session musician, jingle composer, songwriter, touring musician, musical coordinator, and band leader. Despite all this, Zevon struggled to break through in a solo career until his music was performed by Linda Ronstadt beginning in 76 with her album Hasten Down the Wind. This launched a cult following that lasted for 25 years, with Zevon making occasional returns to album and single charts until his death from cancer in 2003. He briefly found a new audience in his in the 1980s by teaming up with members of REM in the blues rock outfit 
Hindu love gods. Known for his dry wit and acerbic lyrics, he was a guest numerous times on Late Night with David Letterman and The Late Show with David Letterman. Okay, man. So that's a little brief history about the man himself. Uh, let's check out the song. Okay. Well, in this case, not so much the song as is the uh, album. Um, Splendid Isolation appears on the album Transverse City. Transverse City is the seventh studio album by American recording artist Warren Zevon, released October 1989 by Virgin Records. And there's a really lengthy um, review here by All Music uh, Album Review. Okay, we'll check it out. Released in 87, Sentimental Hygiene rescued Warren Zevon from record industry limbo and returned him to major label status. But rather than return to the rough and ready sound of that album, he used his new corporate patronage to finance a significantly grander and darker project, 1989's Transverse City. The album features an impressive array of guest stars including Jerry Garcia, David Gilmore, Neil Young, Jack Kennedy, Yorma uh, Kukkonen, and Ben Montench. But while its surface is as glossy as the albums Zevon created when he was the darling of the LA, LA Mellow Mafia, the tone is, a grim, is as grim as anything the man ever created. Transverse City is a song cycle about a culture in collapse in which technology has become our unfriendly master, the sky and stars have grown unfamiliar to us, conflicts lurked around each corner, and our last remaining freedom is the right to spend our money. Zevon does aim for black humor here and there, but notably in the sly networking and the tongue-in-cheek consumer anthem down at the mall, but more typically is the dread of right straight down, the urban paranoia of gridlock, and the title song, Celebration of Land, where life is cheap and death is free. The album's sole note of compassion is the final cut, Nobody's in Love This Year, and even that song is a rueful meditation on a time and place where solace is a scarce commodity, and it's a fitting closer for an album that digs so deeply into the dark and bloody heart of the last days of the Reagan era. Mm. Yeah, right. Transfer City didn't fare well at the marketplace, no great surprise given the album's unforgiving themes, but it deserves rediscovery as one of Warren Zevon's most ambitious and uncompromising achievements. All right. All music. Uh, that's a review by Mark Deming. Okay, man. So... That uh, entire album. Uh, now I'm curious. I wonder what um, what the experience would be like going through the entire album. All right, man. Let's check out our second track: "Lawyers, Guns, and Money." Okay. Warren Zevon, "Lawyers, Guns, and Money." Let's get it. Yeah. 
Masterful lineup of musicians there in this camp, man. Okay, so lawyers, guns, and money. Got some serious uh, tones to it, but also some um, very humorous uh, tones as well. Good mix. All right, man. Um, lawyers, guns, and money. Lawyers, guns, and money is a song by Warren Zevon and the closing track on his 1978 album, Excitable Boy. An edited version of the song was released as a single, and this, ed this ed edited version is on the A Quiet Normal Life Best Of compilation on the physical CD and LP. The digital download and streaming version of the compilation use the album version. Covers. The song was first covered by Rick Derringer on the 1978 album, If I Weren't So Romantic, I'd Shoot You, and was released as a single. It was later covered by The Wallflowers on the album, Enjoy Every Sandwich, the songs of Warren Zevon in 2004. It was also a hit for Hank Williams Jr. in 83 from his album, 5-0, and is regularly played live by widespread panic. The song also lent its title to a light-hearted radio program on the Melbourne community radio station 3RRR, which looked at the legal fraternity in the city. The, 
program started in 85 and ran for several years, hosted by the pseudonymous duo Donahue and Stevenson, Dennis Connell and Ross Stevenson. The song was used as both intro and exit music for the program. Though the version employed was technically not a cover, the song was used in the opening titles of the show Justice with Victor Garber in 2006. Okay, and so that's uh, that's the information. Just uh, two and a half short paragraphs. Lawyers, guns, and money. Good song, man. Excellent song. All right, let's check out our third track, man, and that is "Play It All Night Long." Okay, man. Warren Zevon, play it all night long. Let's get it. Please, a real nice, warm New Jersey welcome for the excitable boy himself, Mr. Warren Zevon.
like Frank said. It's a very, uh, very unique signature sound. Tells good stories. Warren Zevon. Yeah, it's funny, he's one of those artists that seem to, um, be just um, a very, very good, great artist, keeps really, really great legendary company, but he himself doesn't seem to have really, um, you know, hit that higher echelon of stardom. Why is that? Is it because his music is just okay? Or uh, is are there other reasons? What do you think? If you know uh, your Warren Zevon history, um, what kept him from being uh, a shooting star, you know? Let me know about that. All right, so, Play It All Night Long appears on Bad Luck Street in Dancing School. It's the fourth studio album <clears throat> by American singer-songwriter Warren Zevon. The album was released on February 15th, 1980 by Elektra Records. Three singles were released from the album, one of which charted a certain girl, a cover of a song previously recorded by Ernie Cato and the Yardbirds, reached number 57 on the Billboard Hot 100 and was Zevon's second and final hit on that chart. Ernie Cato. I've, uh, have I heard of Ernie Cato? Ernie Cato and the Yardbirds. I'm going to have to look him up. Play It All Night Long is a bracing take on the presumed bleak realities of white southern rural poverty or country living. Its sardonic reference to Leonard Skinner's Sweet Home Alabama in the chorus signals that Skinner's glorification of southern life is the target of Zevon's dark caricature while also suggesting that such music can bring some degree of escape, if not transcendence, to an otherwise intolerable existence. The term dancing school has been used as a euphemism for a brothel since the, the mid-17th century. The album was dedicated to Ken Miller uh, from 1915 to 1983, a friend of Zevon's who was better known for writing mystery novels under the name Ross MacDonald. Okay. I wonder if he hailed from the South. All right, man. So, play it all night long. Let's check out our final track, man. And that being Werewolves in London. <clears throat> Warren Zevon, Werewolves in London. Let's get it. You know, I have observed in my travels that you got your werewolves in London, got your werewolves in Pasadena, got your Peter Wolf from Boston where we played last night, but there's only one werewolves of New Jersey. Right! He was looking for the 
Great showmanship. 